Hey guys, welcome back to Screen Orb. Today we'll talk about the grossest My Feet Are Killing Me moments of 2021. Let's head into it. My Feet Are Killing Me Following in the footsteps of the popular cable TV show Dr. Pimple Popper in My 600 Pound Life, the Learning Channel is tonight debuting My Feet Are Killing Me, the 9-part medical transformation series, which airs at 10pm ET, follows two foot and ankle surgeons Dr. Ebony Vincent and Dr. Brad Schaefer as they treat a wide range of foot conditions. Not for the squeamish, the show chronicles patient treatments in order to get them back on their feet. Throughout the series, viewers can follow the doctors as they treat everything from wart clusters and fungus to toe amputations and foot reconstructions. It was clear, following the debut of Dr. Pimple Popper, which features dermatologist Dr. Sandra Lee as she treats those with skin conditions, that our audience was craving even more powerful and heartwarming stories of medical transformations, said Howard Lee, president and GM of TLC. Each hour-long episode of My Feet Are Killing Me focuses on three patients who, after years of neglect, turn to the doctors to remedy their unusual foot issues. The individuals at the heart of the stories include a paranormal romance novelist who hopes to get her sixth toe amputated, an athlete with two differently sized feet, a patient with a double big toe, and a toddler born with 12 toes. Due to the graphic nature of the show, TLC states that viewer discretion is advised. According to Dr. Vincent, many patients are reluctant to seek treatment since they are embarrassed of their feet. She added in a preview clip that every foot has a story. Dr. Vincent is based in California, while Dr. Schaefer practices in New Jersey. It will help me because I can walk again and even I can you know, not able to Number 13. Doctors are the worst patients. After a horrific car accident as a child, Heather's ankle was rebuilt from parts of her body. Now it's up to Dr. Vincent to help her walk again. Dr. Shaver sees a comedian with not so funny feet and phones a friend to get his own foot treated. Number 12. Somewhere in there is a foot. Stacy's life threatening scar on her foot has left her hopeless, but she's giving it one last shot. David has the worst case of foot fungus Dr. Shaver has ever seen. And Morgan, an erotic paranormal romance novelist, is hoping to get her sixth toe amputated. I and mean, it's going up on your first toe, and that is developing into something that's called a hammer toe. Number 11. Looks bad, feels worse. Dr. Vincent is challenged with a case when a woman with giant springs on her shoes enters her office. A man with a rare disease has the largest feet Dr. Schaefer has ever seen, and an athlete with two different sized feet becomes a difficult surgery. Number 10. Moto Small Problems. A man with an enormous lump on his foot creates a mystery for Dr. Vincent. Dr. Schaefer faces a case of wart cluster that is all over a man's foot, and patient Kiara has the first double big toe that doctor has ever come face to face with. Number 9. All 12 Toes Dr. Vincent performs a delicate surgery when she treats a toddler born with 12 toes. Dr. Schaefer meets a nudist with funky feet and things get tense during a foot reconstruction procedure when the patient wakes up in the middle of surgery. Alright, so I found this other piece of bone. It was definitely hiding underneath. Number 8. Trouble with Toes Dr. Vincent uses a cadaver bone to fix a woman's foot who is deathly afraid of infection. Surgery to correct a woman's web toes becomes a crisis for Dr. Schaefer when she develops a dangerous complication that could cost the patient her toes. Number 7. Melted Candle Wax Feet Cindy is desperate to have Dr. Brad fix her stumpy foot and get back to skiing. Gregory has open wounds on both feet and hopes Dr. Ebony can heal them. Glance feet are split down the middle and Dr. Brad is determined to find a solution to ease the pain. Number 6. Amputation Situation Despite having the longest big toes Dr. Brad has ever seen, Anna hopes for the feet she's always wanted. Russell visits Dr. Ebony with feet that look like hooves. Patty lost most of her foot in an extreme amputation, and she needs Dr. Sarah's help. Number 5. Footnotes Melted Candle Wax Feet Cindy is desperate to have Dr. Brad fix her stumpy foot. Gregory has open wounds on both feet and hopes Dr. Ebony can heal them. Glance feet are split down the middle, and Dr. Brad is determined to find a solution to ease the pain. Number 4. Hornet's Nest Feet Dr. Ebony Ebony tries to diagnose a patient with wart-like masses on his feet. Dr. Brad faces a mysterious case with a patient with very thin skin. Part of your weight-bearing surface as it is right now, it's actually a source of pain. Number 3. Callus Catastrophe Nate sees Dr. Brad for help with the raging calluses on his feet. Savannah has a rare condition that made her big toe grow to an enormous size and hopes Dr. Ebony can help. Dr. Brad is determined to uncover the mystery behind John's massive foot growth. Number 2. Six Toe Surprise Troy's extra toe causes him pain and he hopes Dr. Ebony can provide him with relief. Dr. Brad does his best to untangle a ballet dancer's twisted feet. Ramon turns to Dr. Ebony for help with a massive sack of fluid hanging from his leg and ankle. Number 1. Fixing Frankenstein Dr. Schaefer has to straighten a woman's serpentine foot to reset her life as Dr. Vincent gets a drummer's foot back on the beat. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.